can lithium treat or prevent Alzheimer's disease? For decades, lithium has been the standard treatment for bipolar disorder, both preventing and treating depressive and manic, manic episodes. Research on people taking lithium long-term, where it was found that the rates of dementia were lower than anticipated. Further research in terms of lithium and dementia has been carried out. Another set of studies have found that in areas where lithium is more prevalent in the water, and it naturally occurs there, populations with more lithium in the water had lower rates of dementia than where lithium levels were really low. And then the third line of evidence is that at least in laboratory animals exposed to lithium, there were multiple signs of neuroprotective effects of lithium. So fewer plaques and tangles that are consistent with Alzheimer's develop, better synaptogenesis, better retention of memory. So a recent study this month published in Nature, August 2025, by Bruce Yatner and his group at Harvard, added measurably to these findings, many metals that they looked at, low levels of lithium were strongly correlated with pre-Alzheimer's and Alzheimer's disease compared to normally functioning brains. These low levels of lithium were correlated with performance on specific memory and learning tests. Low levels of lithium seem to be protective for the brain. In this Alzheimer's group, Lithium seemed to be sequestered or pulled into amyloid plaques that lowered levels of lithium in the rest of the brain. And that if you supplement, at least in rodents, a lithium-deprived group of animals with low doses of lithium degradation or chewing up of amyloid plaques that existed, there was increased synaptogenesis, there was change in gene expression, so the genes that promoted brain health were produced a greater extent, and genes that were promoting degradation seemed to be turned down. That correlated with better cognitive performances as well. Levels of lithium used for bipolar disorder are close to levels that can be harmful and can be harmful to kidneys, thyroid, other parts of the body. These are levels of lithium we're talking about that are a hundredfold lower and are focused on lithium orotate which is less likely to bind to and get sucked into the amyloid plaques, appears to be a safe intervention, and at least so far, indications are it may be helpful.